When the ship finally gets into the correct position, it is, you might say, tied to the pier with special ropes. This is almost the only step of the whole docking process that looks pretty much the same today as it did several centuries ago. The huge ship is held in place by means of 22 of these extra strong ropes, each about five inches in diameter. Right now, they're stretched like piano strings. They even vibrate a little. And here's something amazing. If you knock on the rope, you'll have to take my word for it. It's very solid. It feels like there's some kind of metal core inside. But in fact, this is not the case. The rope is woven from a variety of synthetic threads. They're very strong, they have a high elasticity coefficient, they're able to handle the highest levels of stress, but at the same time, as you can see, the rope is already quite frayed, despite the fact that it's less than a year old. It'll be changed soon. Previously, mooring ropes, or to be more nautically accurate, mooring lines, were woven from hemp. The use of polypropylene fibers is a more recent development. These ropes turned out to be much stronger, and what is even more important, they don't absorb moisture, so they're much lighter. Curiously, on these ropes from the 21st century, these shields from the 16th century, if not earlier, are still put to use. They're called rat guards and are needed to keep rats from the shore from running up the mooring lines onto the ship. 